Hi, this is Dr. Bob Roush at EnergyDrivenLeader.com, where we help leaders who have a desire to grow, who want to build strong teams, and also have effective work-life balance. I've been offering to my loyal newsletter subscribers this complimentary gift in this last few videos, and that is I will answer or find the answer to any question you have if you will send those questions to me at drbob at energydrivenleader.com. Now, the question today is not really a question. It's more of a statement I heard from a leader not too very long ago. What he said to me is, I'm just not sure what to do in this situation. Most leaders don't like to admit that they don't have all the answers. So here's a few ideas I want you to think about. First, when I was in the Air Force, I learned very early that when you're talking to or you ask a question by a superior officer and you don't know that answer that you say, I do not know, sir, but I will find out. See, I think leaders have to do the same thing. If, if we don't know or you don't know, you have to find out from the people around you. I read a book some years ago called uh, The Witch Doctors. And in that book, a psychologist did a survey across the United States of senior leadership. And what he discovered was this, that 19 out of 20 senior leaders across the United States' greatest fear was that their subordinates find out how inadequate they felt in their job. Now, come on, give me a break. We are all inadequate to some degree, and admitting that is so, so very important. Leaders are not supposed to know all the answers. That's why leaders have subordinates who can either tell them answers or find out what those answers are. And also that you know, leaders have to get over that ego. You know that thing that kind of prevents them from admitting fault? Uh, I think it's very important for a leader to drop the ego stuff. They never do have all the answers to all the questions. It's not about being the smartest person in the room, but it's about being the most collaborative. And the leaders that I know that are most successful are those who are most collaborative. It's about internal trust. That's why I believe constantly and talk constantly about continuous internal improvement. The more you grow, the more vulnerable you are, and you realize that you don't have all the answers. Leaders are relationship and trust builders who have the ability to pull the intellectual resources of other people to get the job done, and problem solvers because they have problem solvers on their team. The greatest benefit of a leader is not knowing so that he or she can surround themselves with people who do know or who have the ability to find out. Send me your questions to drbob at energydrivenleader.com.